bleeding control and shock management. I have assessed my patient and found that he has a major bleed from his right thigh. I have my personal protective equipment for my crew and myself. I notice the bleeding, so I take a dressing and apply direct pressure. And the wound is continuing to bleed. I will then need to apply a tourniquet. Tourniquet under around his leg, about two inches above the injury. I will pull that as tight as I can. I will then take the windlass and twist it. Generally two to three times will be sufficient, but I want to twist it until bleeding is controlled and I no longer have a distal pulse. So bleeding is controlled at this time. I now notice that he is exhibiting, showing some of the signs of shock. He looks pale, he's tachycardic, I have a weak 30 pulse. I'm going to take and apply oxygen, non-rebreather mask, at 15 liters per minute. He is already laying down, so he's in the proper position to treat for shock. We also need to keep him warm, so I will cover him with a blanket. And we will rapidly transport him to the appropriate facility.